And we're back with the last of Mountain Blade. Since we last left off a long, long time ago, it seems, there's been some changes made to the party you might have noticed. After all of our trading, we managed to get everyone equipped up in good armor. So everyone here is now wearing full-on plate mail. Okay, it, it's maybe not the best quality of uh, equipment on all of them. For example, that's crude plate mail, rusty winged helm. It's, uh, they're fine, but all of them are equipped in decent enough armor. They've all got a war bow, large bag of arrows, a military cleaver, and a thick Huskar shield. These are just sort of the highest damage weapons they can get for a bow, highest damage weapon, one-handed weapon they can get, and one of the best shields in the game. Also, they've all got chargers, so they can all move at speed. And you'll notice that no other troops. We've just got our companions. We've got no support troops at all. All our Kurgit Lancers are gone. Reason being, we're trying to level everyone up. We want to gain up their skills. You'll notice here that we have maxed out Power Strike, which improves their one-handed damage. Well, they're, they're, it's going to improve all their melee damage, but it improves their one-handed, which is all we care about. Power Draw, which means they can use that big war bow we've given them, plus it gives them a decent damage boost. Weapon Mastery to level 4. That means they can increase their proficiencies up to about what's 220 points before they start to cap out, which is pretty good. And their archery is almost there. Then at the same point, we've also given them Riding level 4 so they can ride that horse. Then all the rest of the points, we're going to dump into Trainer and then one or two other skills. So for example, Deshiva here, she's going to be our spotter. That's a very important skill for us. So that's where we're going to put one of our skill points. All the rest of it's going to be dumped into intelligence here, which gives us another skill point, which we're also going to put into trainer. So trainer and spotting is going to be her two main skills until they're maxed out. And that's it. We've leveled up everyone the exact same way. Everyone now has four power strike, four power draw, four weapon mastery, and four writing. And then all the rest of the points go into training and one other skill pretty much. That's it. Well, two other skills. Because we're putting all these points into intelligence, they get an extra skill point every round. So it usually works out they have six skill points to burn every three points, or every three levels they get. Anyway, that's fine. But how do we level them up? Well, since we've given them all of this incredibly good body armor and we are really small, we can go take on threats that we shouldn't be able to. Like there's 26 Nord trained footmen. Um, yeah, we're going to start a fight with them. Now, uh, we'll just usually have them hang them back a bit first. What we like to do is get all, get in some archery experience. So we'll get them to hold position here. And then we'll get them to spread out a bit so they can actually shoot. Then maybe we'll skip time forward a bit until the enemy actually bothers to show their face. Oh wait, they're already on the way. You can see they're right ahead of us there. Ah, there they are in the distance. Now, there's a, a fun quirk to this game, though they don't seem to be doing it right now. If I have my bow out, they usually take out their shield. But if I put my bow away, usually put their shield away. Ah, I don't think they're aggro to me. One moment. Let's go get their attention. Yeah, I think I got their attention. And then what we do is we sort of run around and act as a bit of a distraction while our people get their archery skill up. Oh, yeah, I should probably put up my shield. As well as that, our people are so heavily armored, it's really difficult for any people to do any damage to them, any significant damage. They can still die, it's just uh, unlikely. Hey guys, there's two people charging right at you that you're ignoring them. Uh, give me a minute, I gotta go clean up some messes. And that's pretty much it. We go around drawing fire for a bit. We let, uh, we let our people get their archery skill up. And then once they've got their archery skill up for a while or they run out of arrows, we then get them to charge in and finish them off so they can upgrade their one-handed damage. And that's pretty much our life for a while now. We're trying to get their skill points up so we can train their trainer skill up so that we can level people more efficiently. It'll all make more sense. Let's uh, let's skip forward a substantial period of time. Now that the numbers are thinned down a bit, we'll just let our people run amok and maybe get in a little bit of chopping. Ah, there. One of them's already gained a level. Now, when it comes to finding enemies to fight, the simplest ones to fight once you're armored up is usually the forest bandits. Forest bandits are weak and their weapons are so weak they can barely scratch your people. So it's a good way to level up their archery skill and their one-handed skill. Just get them, you know, get them trained up just enough that they're not absolutely terrible. Armor basically makes them pretty much immortal versus most of the low-end bandits. Oh, come on, just finish them off, guys. So their skills are still a little bit weak, I'd say, at the moment. They're definitely improving slowly but surely. Oh, there's another one bites the dust. Okay, all done. Yay, you're, you're wonderful. But only one of them leveled up, unfortunately, but there's going to be lots more of this for me in the background. I found a wonderfully efficient way to level up is to find the forest bandit camp and then just sort of camp there. Hold on the spacebar to move time along. 
and eventually some forest bandits will show up. And because you're only nine people, you're not scary. You're not scary in the slightest, and they're going to attack you. They don't re they do it doesn't take into account that all of your people are so heavily armed and armoured, so you'll end up just smashing them to bits, even though they outnumber you severely. For example, there's, there's 12 bandits. Oh, they are actually running because we're a little bit uh, stronger than them, but we move at a speed of how fast uh, when we're travelling? Well, no. Let's just say with all of our people mounted, we move really fit fast at night. Anyway, more levelling. Let's uh, cover one little trick I use is I get them to uh, follow me, stop them at one point, and then I get them to spread out. You can press F2 and F3, that makes your char character spread out. I get them to spread out a couple of times, and then I get them to walk forward a few paces by telling them to move forward, say, like that. And then once they've moved forward, they're all facing one direction, and they're all shooting at the enemy. So I don't end up with any of them looking the wrong way so they can't shoot. And then I just let them riddle away. Their archery skill will slowly get better over time the more shooting they do, so all we have to do is just uh, let them do it. It's a little bit time consuming, I will admit, but I kind of like watching them get better and better at killing stuff. Oh, come on, they're running away already. Run them down, boys. Run them down. Yeah, they're, they're not going to make it. We're about to take on 50 plus Sea Raiders. This is, you know, we're outnumbered quite heavily. There's an awful lot of renown on the, on the line for this, but our team's pretty good. If you'll notice, we've already killed three of them and they haven't closed yet. We've just got to kill an awful, awful lot more. Yeah. My job will be to go in and cause distractions so that our people can get in a few more hits. Yep, yeah, well... That didn't work very well. There's just too many of them and I can't aggro them all. So it looks like we're going to have to let our people charge in. My job is to sort of keep them all as straggled out. As you can see, we've got a big blob of them after us and the rest are getting slowly sliced to pieces by our people. Thankfully, we are very, very heavily armoured. Otherwise, we'd be dead already. This is why we went through all that trouble of doing all that trading and making obscene amounts of money was just to buy armour for ourselves and our companions. And it pays off. In this game, your companions basically are terrible no matter how much you train them up until you get them into good armour. And the only way to get them into good armour? Pay for it. Just lots and lots of money. That's the only thing that works. Uh, how much? How well are they doing over there? Oh, Ferentis got knocked unconscious. We actually had someone knocked out. Okay, that's pretty rare at this point. I mean, it does happen, but it's just very, very rare considering how heavily armour they are. Oh, who's there in the background? Is that Khalees? Uh, I can't tell. I, I gave them all the exact same armour, not because it's the best of the best and the... Nah, it's more because it's consistency. All of them are armoured in the same so that I could recognise my people with ease, even with that green glowy thing over their head. It's the, the nice winged helmets, I just like it. Anyway, uh, let's just fast forward this a bit. This is going to be us running around and slowly dragging them to pieces. Uh, in fact, I should probably get involved myself in a little bit of killing. Ow! Someone hit me! No, you don't. Come back here. Where do you think you're going? Okay, okay. Never mind. Someone else got you. You know what? Let's just uh, speed this along, shall we? Where's the last of them? Oh, I think that was it, was it? I can't. I can't believe we actually won that one. Okay, no, that, that wasn't too bad. And we gained 18 renown. All of this fighting, it grinds us up so much renown as well. And renown allows us to hire more people. Oh, yeah, we actually captured one. Yeah, we, we don't want them. Um, done. Let's see. Oh, God, so much loot. We don't even have enough space for all this loot at this point. Oh, and our money is, um, yeah, our money's completely out of control. Because we've bought so many businesses, we're making a fortune. And because all we're doing is looting and... Oh, God. You know, never mind. We, we don't really care about the money. We've got everything we need. After running around the map a lot and doing a lot of leveling up, uh, most of our people are actually pretty good. Let's just take uh, the Shiva. The shop. Never mind. I'm going to mispronounce the name no matter what I do. Uh, they're all maxed out on their combat skills and their intelligence is up to 18, getting their training up to level 5 and their pathfinding up to level 6. Spotting at level 5 as well. We're going to uh, training 
pathfinding and spotting we're going to level those and if you have any leftover points we'll probably put it into tracking or something even though honestly tracking's not that useful but if you look over here at all the skill points we're sharing uh germus is of course our medic hester is our tactics alan is our looting forentis is our engineer we've got spotting pathfinding and tracking and say someone like i think it's yumira she's our backup medic so she has first aid and yep yeah, there's, there's someone else with wound treatment basically we have a, a backup of our medical skills just in case someone goes down but now, now it's time to go to endgame. Now it's time to start capturing castles and clearing out the map. So we're going to need an army. And the best army to use for clearing castles and towns, Nords. Time to start recruitment. Of course, this is going to slow us down an awful lot. Our movement speed on the world map will plummet because we're going to be using infantry as part of our group. It's unfortunate, but mm, c'est la vie. Uh, as well as that, if we go to reports here, we can see our party size now is the limit of 103. That's because of our renown. Because of our renown bonus, we're getting a plus 36 to the amount of people we can hire. That's that's a lot of a lot of extra renown. If we look at our character report, our renown is 918. We've almost got a thousand renown. I, I probably should do a little bit more grinding before I uh, go to finish the game. But you know what? Th this has taken so long to get her. We, we might as well continue it on. We're just going to go around and start recruiting Nords from every single village we can find. Finally, we have finally hit max party size. We're up to 104. Uh, when it comes to recruitment, there's... Oh, how do I explain how recruitment and training works? Every night, you are able to assign out uh, experience to your troops. So let's just leave these Norse for now. We could promote 11 of them right now, but we're going to wait till morning. And uh, in in the middle of the night, they'll gain all of their experience from uh, our trainers. Basically, everyone in our party, I think for maybe Germus, has the training skill cracked up to a 4 or 5. So they get a lot of experience every night. And that means all of them will be ready for promotion tomorrow morning. Oh, and there's all of our, that's our weekly budget. We're pulling in about nine grand. That's a lot. Actually, it should be ten, but oh yeah. Our, our troops are going to require a lot of resources. Now, before we go forward anymore, we need to pick out a target. I was thinking this would be a target. Vin, Vincord Castle? Either that one or Rein, Reynard Castle. It's just we're trying to pick out a location where we're going to start our empire. Over here might be very nice as well, but I really don't want to start tucking into the Rodonks early on. I think we take this area here, and then we can start chomping into purple. Purple is huge, yes, but so long as we have a castle to start with, we'll be fine, and that castle looks like a perfect location. Also, no one's going to mind that we're attacking the Swadians. They've only got three, three locations left. Let's just hope they don't have all their armies piled into that one place, and it should be fine. For now, though, we're going to head over to that location, that city, and we're going to rest up and make sure all of our party get leveled up or all of our troops get maxed out. And let's just skip ahead till morning. And experience was assigned, and if we check in here, all the recruits are ready to be upgraded now. So we'll promote those all to level 17, uh, to Nord Footmen. Now, tomorrow night, they should all be eligible to be promoted again up to Nord Trained Footmen, but we'll, we'll cover that in a minute. The next morning, after all of the training is complete, all the footmen are ready to be upgraded. We'll upgrade them to Nord trained footmen. And tomorrow night, after they're trained again, we'll upgrade them. Now, uh, the reason I'm not upgrading these 78 so far is experience doesn't work how you think it would. You would imagine that everyone would get an equal amount of experience. So, you know, if you have 95 of them, each one would get an equal amount of experience. No. What it does is it, ex it goes, you have 95 of them, multiply that by the amount of experience you should get, and then it just keeps applying it to one of them until they hit the next level. Then it goes down to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and it keeps applying it to them all one at a time. So what you're best off doing is keeping all of your troops just at the same level until they're all ready to upgrade, and then popping them all at the same time. Just allows you to make sure, otherwise what you'll end up with doing is, you'll be able to train, say, if you had 95, you'll be able to train 60 in your first night. After your first night, 60 are ready to go. You're like, oh, should the rest be ready tomorrow? No. It'll half every time almost. You're better off waiting. So... We are just going to wait here until tomorrow and we'll have even more advanced troops. Oh, I mean, look at that. Even Ferentis got to level up this time around. All right. And then we'll check. Nord trained footmen, all ready to be upgraded to Nord warriors. So, all of you. Boom. Right, next up is Nord veteran. I don't think we can afford that. Let's check out their levels. If you talk to them here, you can actually see what level they are. Uh, so, they're level 19, which means experience. If you check out trainer, the experience is only applied to troops who are lower level. So this trainer thing gives a bonus to your experience gain, or gives you experience, but only if the troop you're giving experience to is lower level than the person giving the experience. So if we go over to say, same character again here, they're level 18, which means their trainer bonus is not going to affect our, our recruits. 
Uh, for rent is here, let's see. Yep, it's not going to affect. He's not going to affect them there either. But while we're here, we might as well crank up their skills. So was it you were trainer and engineer? Oh, and we have one skill left over. Oh, for you, we decided tactics. So that's going to be your tertiary skill. You'll be trainer, engineer, then tactics. I just like to have some redundancy built in in case people get knocked unconscious. It happens. All right, with them at that level. That means if we want to train these up to the very last level, which is Nord Veteran, we're going to have to actually go out and kill some stuff. Um, yeah, we're going to have to run them down. Thankfully, Nord's, Nord Foot Soldiers are actually not the slowest, but we're still going to have a movement speed of 5.3, which means running down stuff to get experience is going to be tricky. For example, they're moving at 6.3. Those horse archers, we're never, ever catching those. Uh, I think it's time to go find some Sea Raiders. Never mind, we found some veteran spearmen running around the place. They're 4.6, we're 5.3. It's just a matter of time. Let's go level up some troops. Um, yeah, in fact, we're going to do a little bit of micromanagement here. What we're going to do is we're going to tell our heroes, which are number four, I've put them on. So the heroes, I want you to come back here. Uh, the infantry, which is everyone else. Oh, one second. Come here, infantry. You're number one. Yes, infantry. F1, F3. Go charge and kill what's over over there. Thank you kindly. Ooh, I forgot they all come with a whole bunch of a whole bunch of these guys come with ranged weapons built in like javelins and things like that makes them pretty nasty also as well as that they all come with shields which is going to be very important when we start sieging all right let's go kill some stuff quick uh, handy training place is any infected villages or infested villages yeah they may give you a whole bunch of experience dear lord just mm, maul them just maul them boys get them all after way too much running around we've managed to get a whole bunch of those veterans up to huskarls so yeah that's going to be 25 huskarls which are the best unit in the game i should spend more time leveling these up but you know what it's time to go claim a castle we've been faffing about too long now i was going to originally take this castle over here uh vin vingord castle whatever it was but it's got about 200 people in it and it's got about two lords running around with over 150 a pop no, 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 that's way, way, way too dangerous. We can't handle that. However, I've been looking over here and the Kingdom of the Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. Oh, you know what? I've never tried pronouncing these things out loud. You know, it's a single player game. You play it on your own. Anyway, these fellas over here, this castle is actually pretty weak sauce. It's got about 160 people in. Oh, let's go uh, annoy that guy. We want to start a war with someone. So I say, yeah, I say we go irritate this person. Yeah, I am Knuckles. I am not at your service. Um, I am here to deliver my demands. I for you a chance to surrender or die. That's none of your business. Prepare to fight. Okay, and leave. Yeah, they don't want to fight us. Perfect. Now we're just going to go over here and we're going to siege this castle. All right. So we'll have to siege this. It'll take about five hours. Oh, wait, 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 wait. First things first. This is very, very important. We want to grab that bow. And we want to arrow up. We're going to be doing a lot of heavy lifting during this. A lot. Oh, sorry, our money's up to 100 grand. <laughs> Never mind. All right, here's what we do. We attack this place. We want to besiege the castle. We want to prepare letters for the attack. That's going to take five hours. Okay, that's because of our engineering skill of one of our pawns, or one of our heroes. All right, perfect. We are going to lead our people in an assault. <sighs> okay. First things first. F1, F1, hold position. Everyone hold position. Uh, second thing, F3, F1, everyone hold fire. So take your shields out, stop trying to shoot back. That's just going to be dumb. And then what we do is this is going to take a while, but we're going to shoot all their archers. Well, maybe not all of them, but quite a few of them. Okay, that's way off. It's going to take me a while to get a hand, handle on the drop at this distance. Uh, come on, seriously? Okay, I suck. Uh, well... This is going to be my life for the next, well, 10-15 minutes, is shooting a whole bunch of these enemies. After killing a whole bunch of them, 
we're gonna go around and pick up some more arrows. We can't be running out of the damn things. We still have to kill about, I know, a hundred more. And yeah, there's plenty of arrows around here. That's only 60 in our quiver. Come on, give me more. Finding them, getting right on top of them is the problem. Come on, kid. This is one of the reasons you do not want to attack sides that have crossbows originally. Oh, did I just put first person? Yes, I did. If you attack people with crossbows, you can't quite pull off this strategy. This is one of the reasons we've built our character the exact way we have, because... Ow! Okay, I gotta start. Avoid getting hit. Um, Alright. Time to go shoot a few more. There's one. A little bit higher and up high. There we go. Oh, there's one right there. It's going to get to a point where you think, oh, they're out of archers. That's great. Unfortunately, we've only killed 66. There's about 160 in there. Or wait, no, there's 66 here and there's 463 dead. That means there's only about 100. That means they've got about another 60 in reserve. The only reason the rest of the archers haven't shown up is because we haven't killed enough. Oh, there's one in there. Missed you. Ow. Okay, you did not miss me. Hey. All right, uh, our health is pretty low. Let's go kill some more. As you can see, our team is pretty solid. Their shields have absorbed a lot of damage. The defenders have infinite arrows, as in their arrows regenerate. If they run out, their quivers just get refilled again, automatically. Ours do not. So that's why we have to keep refilling. Now, a problem we face right now is they're not spawning any more enemies. For example, you'll check here, there is 48, 49 of them behind the walls, 60 of them are dead, and there's about another 40 or so that haven't spawned yet, and those 40 might have arrows on them. So we want to try and kill a few more, and then once the numbers get low enough, they'll spawn another enemy, or they'll spawn another wave, and then we can kill those archers, and then finally, when they have no archers left, then we can actually assault. Oh, God. Uh, also, this is definitely helping our archery skill. Okay, they're, they're, they're coming out. That's, um... Oh, yep, yeah, the rest of them have spawned. Fine, we're gonna have a bunch of archers coming at us. Let's uh, leg it. Our guy, unfortunately, has skipped leg day every day. We have zero in athletics, or one, I think, I'm not sure. We don't have a lot in athletics. Okay, uh, well, if they're coming out to meet us, that's handy. Charge. You, you really want to come out and fight a whole bunch of angry huskarls that have just been riddled with arrows and are very, very irritable? That sounds like a good day to me. Oh, I think they ran out of archers, did they? I'm not seeing any archers in there. Okay, so since they ran out of archers, they decided to run down. Hey, perfect. Fine by me. Now let's see if we can... Oh my god, this sucks when they're moving. How many left? 52, 51... Jesus. These guys are... Our guys are monsters. They're just... Ugh. Crush them all. Right. How many are left? There's 38 enemies left. Come back here. Don't go in just yet. I'm going to go have a quick look. If I take an arrow in the face, I'll be very embarrassed. Now, yeah. uh, F3... F2. You can fire at will, just in case anything sticks its head above that parapet. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to look down here, and if we check the map, yeah, there's going to be a whole bunch of them down there. Something's going to be going on, I'd say. Oh, run. Run, 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 run. Oh, God. Perfect. And F1, F3. Charge them down, boys. Make sure none are left alive. Oh okay, yeah, they've got 51 left in total. 47. Jesus. 
This is turning out to be a very successful assault. Right, everyone back, everyone back. Where's the last of them? Okay, there's still 38 of them left. I'm gonna go have a quick look over the wall. Hey, what are you doing with your axe? Just either throw it or put it away. Yeah, I'll have another quick look over the wall. We'll see where they are, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a bunch of them waiting down there to take shots at people. And oh my god. Yeah, I don't remember there being this much cutlery all over this when I came up here the last time. Uh, where are they? Don't. Yeah. Yep, there's two of them over there. Yep, that was, uh, that's embarrassing. Never mind. I think it's time for everyone to charge. Come on, just go for it, guys. I'm going to stay back here. If you get knocked unco if we get knocked unconscious, the whole raid is over and we'll have to do another thing with the ladder. Oop, oop, oop. That almost killed me. All right, our health is at uh, almost invisible. I, I really should have waited until we had more Huskarls and troops and all that, but you know what? I got lazy. What's it looking like? There's 34 enemies left. Okay, dig in, guys. I'm going to stay well back and let you guys soak damage. What the hell? Okay, I think our people are on the ground floor. There's 17 of them left alive. Jesus. Yeah, that's what happens when archers get met by people with close combat weapons. Ah, oh, damn it, right of bow arrows. Uh, damn it, we need some more arrows. Give me arrows. Oh, 29. Perfect. Okay, I think we won. That was an expensive victory, but we just about ticked them in. Health, almost invisible. Enemies, dead. 155 dead, 8 wounded. We have 24 wounded and 67 ready for battle. We started with about 100, so yeah, I'm going to call that a good fight. Good fight indeed. That was a hard fought one, though. Oh, and most of our companions are wounded. That's bad. Rescued prisoners, captured enemies. You know what? There's some Nord veteran archers. They'd be great. Let me see what troops we're going to keep. There's a whole bunch here that would be very handy. This can help replenish our numbers. Say hello to the castle. Who do you wish to give it to? Um, I, I, I think I'm going to... I want it for myself. Uh, the lady of whatever. Knuckles now owns a castle. Go Knuckles. Now, whew, this makes you a monarch in your own right with the court temporary located. However, the other kings in Calradia will be at first consider you a threat for... Upstart warlords, if any of uh, yeah, blah, blah, their own legitimacy may be called into question. You may find it desirable at this time to pledge yourself to an existing kingdom. If you want to continue as a sovereign monarch, then your first priority should be to establish an independent right to rule. There's several ways to do right to rule. We're not going to bother on anything. We're just going to kill everyone. Well, that's how you'd normally do it. We're not going to appoint any of our uh, companions. That's just a trap. We, you don't get anything special for appointing your companions. We're going to go to a prominent citizen from the area is fine as uh, our lord. And uh, Knuckles Kingdom... I think Knuckles Origins is a better name. Yeah, so Knuckles Origins. Uh, yep. Grand. Okay, if we manage the garrison, what we can do is we can dump a bunch of people in here. Uh, we're going to give that one over. Actually, we're going to give that one over. And we're going to give that one over. Ooh, actually, we should promote all of those. They can all be promoted. They can all be promoted. And then we are going to get all of these and we are going to dump them into the castle. Now, this is going to be a defense force for the castle. If we leave here and have a look, you'll notice the castle is... 78 of 96? Yeah, so there's 78 people defending it. We need more. We need to go out and start grabbing recruits from all the surrounding area, which will take a little time. But first we need to heal up, so we're going to stay here for one day. Uh, let me, ooh, actually, let me check my inventory. I want to change this back. We don't want to be running around with a bow the whole time anymore. Using the bow that way, that was just to, well, to basically kill all of them. That was sort of the plan from the beginning. Our character is designed for... Well, doing pretty good with the bow. We probably could have specialized more in strength so that we could get a little bit more bow damage, but it worked out. It's the next morning and it's time to go recruiting. All we're going to do here is just run around to towns, grab more recruits. We're staying away from uh, the enemies over there. 
This is why we're on the edge of their territory. You don't want to take something in the middle because then it's impossible to get new recruits. They're also going to raid our village that's attached to that uh, castle, but we don't care. Uh, recruit five of them, five Nord recruits. Yep. Seriously, you have a plus 14 acceptance of me and you're only getting me five? Ah, that's kind of weak sauce, guys. Wow, how? where is the nearest village that's not looted? Looted, looted. Mm. One second, I'm going to go find some non-looted villages that we can recruit from. One thing to note, you'll notice a bunch of these are under sequestration. Uh, that basically means we're at war with that side. So, yeah, that's bad. We still made nine grand, though, so who cares? That's why we made so many businesses. It means you can go to war with anyone and you don't have to worry about losing your uh, your income. One Nord recruit. Guys, come on, we need hundreds. It turns out the Vagers did not like us stealing their stuff. There's a whole bunch of them there besieging the castle. I've been scouting around and I'm not sure there's anything we can do. They have 600, they have numbers 6 to 1. There's no way we can take that. Just no way. I, I tried to stretch them off and kill a few, but it's not enough. They're going to take that castle. We can't stop them. I don't think, I don't think there's anything we can do. I think we're going to have to just cut our losses and run. I really don't like doing that, but if we go in there, we're probably going to die. We, I just noticed on my recruitment trip, trail as well. There's actually another castle over here, probably one a better one to go for. It's just this one was... Mm. The problem was they sent everyone. They weren't busy. They were in a war with someone else. I thought their their groups would be scattered everywhere, but whatever it was, they just came straight here and they minced it. If we had, say, a few more days to collect recruits and get that up to about a population of 200, we would have been fine. They would have passed on and moved on to something else, but they didn't. Oh well, uh, I'm gonna have to rebuild my crew. I'll be back in a minute. The loss of Esmeralda Castle was unfortunately annoying. However, it doesn't mean we can't go grab another one. This is the joy of the build, of building this way, is because most of our uh, people are all developed strongly into training, we can just rustle up a new force really quick. Now, I should have spent more time training up uh, all of my characters. All of them should actually... I should have got them all to level 19, but yeah, I was kind of in a rush. <laughs> I have too many commitments of series I'm trying to do at the same time, so realistically you want to get to about 19, that way you can train up more actually. I think you need to get to level 20. Level 20? But that takes a really long time. So we came over here and this castle is much more poorly defended than the last one. Only 93 people here plus 26 prisoners. I also hunted down, there was some lord patrolling the area, I killed him. So now let's go claim a new prize. Early in the morning we get to lead our soldiers in an assault. Uh, oh damn it, I forgot to bring the full archery load out. Oh, it doesn't make a difference. They've got enough archers, we'll just... Ow! That was a very good shot. Okay everyone, back up here. We need to get up a little bit higher so we're not getting riddled. That lowdown area is just bad, and once we're far enough away, their accuracy will be... Jeez, drastically reduced would be the hope. Well, enough of all of that. Let's, uh, let's just finish this off. We've managed to kill about, ooh, 54 of them with arrows, and now it's just up to our guys to finish off the last 38, 39, whatever, 37, 36, 35. I think we got a good enough team for this. We probably could have spent more time, but you know what? No, we're claiming this castle right now. Say hello to our new castle. We, we managed to take this one. It only took us a few days to recover and get back up to the point where we could capture another castle. This is why I like this build. Also, it's an awful lot of fun. And we'll manage our garrison and we'll just dump all our troops in. You will notice that our castle here is a good trek away from our enemies who are miles away. So, let's go grab some recruits as quick as we can. There's only 97 in there. I want to get that up to 200 as quick as possible. And there we have a safe and protected castle. 244, and, well, 244 troops crammed in there means no one will go near it. It's probably one of the better defended castles all around the place. In fact, I'm pretty sure that town has less people in it than this castle does. The the AI thinks of uh, one recruit as just one enemy, so it doesn't matter how good or bad the troops are. That means we should be safe. In fact, I will, but I'd keep piling in there. If I was going to continue this game, I would just keep piling people in there to let about 1,500 troops, and then you use this sort of as a, a stockpile. The reason being, you have, well, you have so much money. Even with a, a few under sequestration, you have... We're pulling in seven grand extra a month. So I would put in, you know, one squad of horses, say, Kurgits or Swadian Lancers or something along those lines. And then I would keep one group of Nord Huskars, which we'd use for taking out strategic targets, like, say, Deerham there. So say we cram this up to about 1,500 people, we take over Deerham, and then the moment we do, we just, you know, dump in a thousand people to make sure no one can take it back and from there you can start expanding outwards and of course there's going to be right to rule you're going to want to invest in that there's also going to be lords you're going to want to start recruiting them to your side there's a whole bunch you're going to be able to do here but realistically this whole game is just a combat simulator it's just everything there is just a thin layer all based on 
yes, let's get into situations where you get to kill stuff, lots of stuff, and you get really, really good at it. After a while, your archery skill gets to the point of just sheer ridiculousness where you're mowing people down left, right, and centre. I mean, we took this castle, 90% of it, well, okay, say 60% of the kills were all us with a bow. And that was it. The only reason we stopped was he ran out of arrows. I, sh I should have brought more. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Or getting ambushed and just taking out vast swaths of people that come at you one-on-one -on -one or... Yeah, it's all about the beautiful combat. Anyway, thanks for uh, joining me on this journey. Uh, I, I'm going to leave Knuckles here. We're going to assume that somewhere in the future Knuckles ends up in a, a crypto sleep casket somehow and that's how she ended up on the rim. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck. And here is a montage of lots of kills. Mm -hmm.